it's time to get working on this thing so we can uh, get it back in the water. I got a new coupler, drives off the boat, boat's in the shop, and today we're going to be pulling the engine out because unfortunately, though, the coupler is not the most expensive part in the world. I think I got for about 160 bucks from Summit Racing. Um, unfortunately, because of the where it's located on the back of the engine, yeah, you got to pull the motor out to, to change it. So it's one of those inexpensive parts with a lot of labor. So, yeah, clean up my mess from doing the upholstery back there. Got the engine hoist and we're gonna get to work. on this thing for a couple hours now and uh, I think we've got everything disconnected ready to go the only thing that we really had a problem with is that giant nut there on the motor mount so we actually pulled out the bolts that attach the mount to the boat uh, we're gonna have to try and get that all apart once we get it out on the bench somewhere easier to work on it because you just can't get very good leverage on that that nut but uh other than that nuts are out in the back here's the bolts that hold it to the transom drive we've got all our hoses and things disconnected so far it's actually been one of the easier motors i've pulled but uh so it makes boats a lot simpler than cars i guess so we're going to try and lift this thing out of here and see what happens.
Well, it was a tight squeeze. I had to pull the upper section of the back seat off to get us a little extra clearance. Took a couple tries, but she's out. So what we gotta do here, gotta take off our bell housing, this whole uh, cover here, and then this is our, our coupler that, that we've gotta take off. So a few bolts, should have the bell housing off, and uh, yeah, go from there. Timber. Timber. Yeah. Pretty lightweight. Hand that to you. Oh yeah. And then that guy there is our problem child. Look up inside and see. It doesn't have any splines. <laughs> Well, did a lot of work today. Got the motor pulled all the way out of the boat. Actually went really pretty easy getting it out. Um, you know, I'm used to doing engines in, uh, in Jeeps and cars where there's a whole lot more hooked up to it and you gotta deal with the transmission and all that. And, you know, a, a carbureted boat motor other than the confines of the boat itself is, is really pretty darn simple. So the, the engine came out pretty easy. However, uh, we're gonna do a little problem. Let me show you what it is. So this one here, this is the coupler that came out. And first glance, they look pretty darn similar. Um, and I'll show you the problem with this one. You notice uh, that's just all smooth down in there. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to, look like this one, have splines in it. At the uh, input shaft of the of the stern driving gauge with. Well, the problem we have here, if you look at the bolt pattern on our old one, compared to our new one, you'll notice they're not the same. First tip off is this hole here. That one's a little ovaled to allow for uh, different bolt patterns. But the bigger issue is you notice the. Uh, the actual bolt circle on this one is larger. So, you know, now I gotta order parts. It's gonna take more time. I mean, we easily would have had this thing installed in the boat today and had everything put back together. But now I gotta wait on shipping. It's probably gonna be, uh, I think, well, today's Sunday. I said Friday, I should have the new one. So, another week down the drain. It's kind of frustrating when I look this one up. It says, Places Mercury for all GM engines except MR Alpha Bravo with triangular three bolt coupler. Well, this is not a triangular three bolt coupler, so for all GM engines. Well, I got a Chevy 350. It seems like that should fit, but uh, clearly it does not. Uh, the other bummer of it is this one was like 160 bucks from Summit Racing, which, you know doesn't fit so it doesn't really matter but the one that uh, matches this one it's on Amazon yeah it's double the price on the upside today since we uh, had the motor up in the air it was really easy to access I at least managed to change the oil on it new filter new uh, new fuel filter also put new belts on it because it was definitely a need and while I, was, uh, while I was up in the air, I crawled in, cleaned out the bilge underneath. There was a bunch of 
junk that had been floating around in there. And it's kind of annoying when I went to pull the plug when we would take the boat out of the water. Some of that junk would kind of float and clog up the, uh, the drain hole. So vacuumed it all out with the shop vac, got it nice and clean in there. So, you know, at least we got some maintenance done, I guess. All right, so it's been uh, just about a week since the first time we tried pulling this motor out. Now I have the new coupler and it has the right bolt pattern on the back of it. So we're gonna give this another shot. Cal didn't come down this weekend, so instead I have my lovely wife, Jessica, and Chassie's gonna help too when she's done napping. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta uh, pick this thing back up. I've already done all the uh, all the little stuff I can do on there, so I think this thing's pretty much ready to go. I just gotta hook it up and lift it up to where we can work on it. So, I guess it's time to get to work. We got the engine in. Jess uh, did a great job stepping outside her comfort zone a little bit, helping out. But she was uh, a great help working the working the hoist for me. We ended up having to jockey the engine around quite a bit to get lined up. Um, actually, ended up having to go back in a second time to get aligned. Um, ended up having a couple of the little washers and spacers in the wrong place on the uh, on the transom assembly and was throwing everything out of whack and I was trying to figure out how to get the uh, <laughs> how to get the coupler lined up with that uh, alignment tool I made but uh, going online searching around found a diagram that, that... Are you <laughs> <laughs> chassis helping out too now I found a diagram that uh, showed me where everything was going wrong and, and now it all lines up perfect so now we're sitting in the uh, in the living room, enjoying the air conditioning because yes. it is <laughs> it is hot out. It may be October, but it's still like a hundred degrees here. So more motivation to get this boat done so that we can go enjoy it on yes. the water for a little while longer. Definitely.
So the last thing that happened on our uh, failed outing was that the dinky little bracket that holds the lift support for the engine cover ripped out of the bottom of the engine cover. So I designed a much heftier one that attaches with a lot more screws. So uh, yeah, let's cut that out. Yeah, the new bracket's a little bit more substantial than the uh, one that failed. Obviously, four screws were not enough for all that leverage, so let's try ten.